Growing potatoes in the garden can be one of the most fun things to do, but how do you know when a potato is ready to harvest? Earlier this spring, I planted loads of potatoes. Some I planted right in ground surrounding my kitchen garden, and then I set up four whiskey barrels and planted those full of potatoes as well. It's now been months since those tubers went underground and the foliage is all starting to change. Some of these potatoes are ready to harvest and the leaves are telling me that it's right. So when potatoes have finished forming underground, the leaves on the top of the plant are going to start to die off. This one is clearly showing signs that it's ready to harvest. Now this plant didn't grow nearly as big as I wanted it to, but it does show signs that there's been some growth underground. And when I start to see the leaves turn brown and the plant start to be ready to die, then I know it's time to dig up those potatoes. This potato is just taking off. All of the foliage is nice and bright green. It's showing no signs of turning brown or starting to lay over. So this one, I'm just gonna let be. This potato here is just starting to show a little bit of signs of wear and tear. We've got a couple of spots on the leaves and a few of these that are lower are changing color but nothing major yet and you can see the plant is still very much upright so i won't be harvesting these potatoes anytime soon this is a great example of a potato that is nearing its end but not yet this one if i had to guess has probably one or two weeks left before i'm going to try to dig these potatoes up you can see that this plant is starting to lay over and the leaves are losing that bright green color, turning a little bit more lime and yellowish. There's a couple of spots and some places where these leaves are drying up. That's a sure sign that the potatoes are forming and finishing. And I've just got a few more weeks before it's time to dig up and harvest and see what grew underneath. Then these potato plants are clearly done. In fact, some of these have not just laid down on the job, but they are like dried out, papery. They are not doing any more growing. So these ones are absolutely ready to harvest from. This entire whiskey barrel was actually planted later than some of those potatoes that are in the ground. So it's a good learning experience for me to realize, you know, I might want to plant almost all my potatoes in ground next year. I'm going to compare the harvest from both types of planting and I'll keep you posted. So uh, to harvest these, you can use a pitchfork because I've got this nice whiskey barrel. I'm actually just gonna attempt to pull them up as they are, especially for this one because the plant is probably mostly still intact. Oh, there's a potato. Look at that. That's pretty. I love these purple ones. So we'll see what all is attached here. I may have dropped all the potatoes. Nope, here's a couple. So, this plant, it looks like produced about three or four potatoes from it. I can dig down a little bit. Some of these get left behind when you pull up. Yep, here's another one. When you pull up the plant that way. Let's see if there's any more. I think that's it for that one. So let's try this plant over here. So in the ground, when they're in the ground, you're going to need more like a pitchfork, but because these were in a whiskey barrel, then they're a lot easier to pull. So that one was pretty disappointing. Let's see how this one is. Okay, here we go. Look at this. Got some pretty, oh wow, there's a lot. So there might've been some down that I just missed. Here's some here. So many pretty purple potatoes. And you can definitely tell these are done, right? Like this, they probably, they might have gotten a little bit bigger, but definitely plenty of growth. And those plants dying off is a sign that the potatoes are ready. So let's see if we can get a few more out of here. Potatoes are surprising because they're in the tomato and pepper and eggplant family, the Solanaceae family. And most of those plants you put in after the chance of frost has passed, none of those plants are frost hardy. But potatoes, even though they're in the same plant family and they generally grow the most once the chance of frost has passed, 
they actually need to be planted well before you pass your last frost date. You can plant potatoes in early spring and again in early fall. So you'll get a harvest well before you have tomatoes in the summer. And then you can actually get, sometimes if your season is long enough, you can get another harvest in early fall before the cold sets in. So I might need a pitchfork to find the rest of the potatoes down here underneath, but now you know how to know when it's time to harvest your potatoes. You can learn all about growing potatoes in my book, Leaves, Roots, and Fruit. Growing potatoes is step number five in my step-by-step -step learn to garden system. Don't forget to subscribe to the Gardenary channel and stay tuned for my next video on how to know what to do in the garden every day. Thanks for watching.